Ladies and gentlemen, the day is finally here. Today is the official release of Author Your Life, Become the Hero of Your Story. This book is for people who want to make a change in their life. People who feel that are at a crossroads, they want to make a fresh start, and they want to take their life in a new and exciting direction. All of us have the power to do this. All of us have the power to take stock of our lives, look at the story we've been living, look at the narrative we've been following, and say, is this it? Is this what I'm capable of? Or can I do something better? Can I go further in my life? These possibilities are available to you, but perhaps you've been struggling with these possibilities up until this point. Perhaps you've been trying to make these changes, you've been trying to change an unhealthy lifestyle, an unfulfilling career, or even perhaps a failing relationship, and you've had some difficulties along the way. Well, that's what this book really aims to address, is to help you to overcome these difficulties and overcome these challenges. I was at a point in my life where I was feeling the same way. Well, I was feeling I wasn't really being the person I was capable of being, not really doing the things I was capable of doing. I was looking at the story of my life and saying, is this it? Is this who I am and is this who I want to be? As many of you know who've been following me for any time at all really, you'll know that the key change point of my life was at age 22. At this age, I lost my dad to cancer. And this experience of death, really gave me a new perspective on life. Because even though it wasn't me on the deathbed that day, I started to evaluate my life as if it was. And I started to ask myself, well, what is the type of life that I'm living? And am I happy with my life? And most importantly, am I proud of my life? Am I being the person I want to be? Am I doing the things that I want to do? Does my life even have any impact and meaning? As I started to ask myself these questions and take stock of my life, I realized I wasn't really happy with the answers I was coming up with. And so this catalyzed for me a journey of looking to find how I could change my story. And ultimately, throughout this journey, I've learned not just about changing my story, but also how I could then apply that change to other people. In the process of becoming a number one best-selling author, an inspirational speaker who speaks to audiences across the UK, a podcaster who has an audience in over 25 countries across the world, I've learned that some people change their stories and some people don't. Some people are able to rewrite their stories and some people just repeat their stories. And perhaps this is something that you're familiar with. Perhaps you feel you've just been repeating the same story. You're stuck in the same lifestyle, stuck in the same career, stuck in the same relationship. What is the difference between the two? How do you get out of this process of just repeating your story and start to take a step back and rewrite your story? Well, this is what I've been fascinated with, answering these questions, finding these answers. And the answers that I've found is that there are three key areas that allows people to change their story. It makes the difference between being stuck in your story and being the author of your story. And the first of these three areas is that people who rewrite their stories have a mastery over their psychology. They change the story in here. When they change the story in here, they change the story around them. They understand the way that their mind works and they put their mind to good work. They build good habits for themselves. They change redundant thought patterns. They process their emotions more effectively. And that's what the first part of this book is all about. It's a section that I call consciousness. Consciousness is what a hero really aspires to, to reach a higher level of consciousness. And that is what people who change their stories do, is they raise themselves to a different level of consciousness, a different level of thinking. And that's what this book will enable you to do. This book is packed full of psychology and neuroscience, looking at what we know about the brain, what we know about the mind, and how we can use this knowledge, how we can implement practices and habits that change the way our mind works and start to build that new level of consciousness. So that's the first part of what allows people to rewrite their stories. The second aspect of people who change their stories is that they have a deep connection to their purpose. They have something that pulls them towards a new level of life. They have an aspiration, ambition for who they can be and what they can do. 
in the book, in the second section, this is what I call calling. They have a calling in life. Something is literally calling to them. It's pulling them towards a certain point. It's pulling them towards a certain level in their life. And people who change their stories have a very deep sense of purpose. And this purpose really provides the fuel and drive that allows them to go forward. From this purpose, you find your motivation. From this purpose, you find your highest levels of performance. From this purpose, you find a level of mastery in your life. And with this purpose, you can start to build anything that you want. You can start to put your best work out into the world, start to create the things that you want to create, ultimately start to build the, the legacy and the impact that you want to make in your life. So that's the second component that we cover in the book, and it's the second component of changing your story finding and activating your calling. And that's what this book will help you do. It'll help you find your calling if you haven't found it yet, and it'll help you activate it if you have found it. Now, the third component that allows people to change their stories is people who are able to rewrite their stories, interact and communicate in a different way to other people. They have a different level of relationships to those who just repeat their stories. Those who are able to change the stories have a deep understanding of social psychology. Social psychology is some of our most inbuilt, fundamental characteristics of being humans. We as humans are social animals. And understanding the way that we interact and communicate with each other allows you to create a richer sense of existence, a richer experience of life. And this is what people who change their stories do. And this is what we cover in the third section of the book which is called connection. In this section, you'll learn how to integrate with other people, how to build a more supportive and more empowering group of people around you, how to build your tribe, how to create friendships. You'll learn how to influence people, how to communicate with confidence in your life. And ultimately, the last chapter, one of my favorite chapters in the book, is a chapter on impact. Because this book is all about becoming the hero of your story, but becoming the hero of your story is about more than just changing your story. Ultimately, if you want to become a hero, you need to become a hero for someone else. Once you've changed your story, you then go out and change a story for someone else. And that's what that last chapter on impact is really all about. And that's what the process and journey of this book is all about. It's building you into the hero you're capable of being becoming the person you're capable of being, doing the things you're capable of doing, and then ultimately going on to serve and impact others in the way that you're capable of. This is the journey the book takes you through. This is how you rewrite your narrative. This is how you rewrite your story. This book is now available on Amazon. It's an ebook and paperback format. If you are someone who feels you're at a crossroads in life, someone who feels that they're capable of doing something more, if you have aspiration and ambition for who you can be and what you want to do in life, then this is the book for you. Our stories are not written for us, they are written by us. And that is what you're really going to grasp in this book. You're going to grasp that you are the author of your life. You hold the pen and you get to choose what script you want to live to. Each and every day, we wake up with blank pages. What are you going to put on those blank pages? How are you going to show up day to day? What legacy are you going to build in your life? Because ultimately, each of us in our stories, we have a limited set of chapters. There comes a point where we have our last page. There comes a point when our story ends. What story do you want to have written for yourself? What narrative do you want to have lived to? That is what Author Your Life is all about. When you understand these principles that we cover in the book and you apply them, you can start to rewrite the whole paradigm of your life. You can become the hero of your story. And that's what you're going to find in this book. So that is all for your life. Become the hero of your story. It's available right now on Amazon. Click the link in the description and become the hero of your story.